Good day, this is Marius Fully from Green Pro Consulting. And today I want to discuss an important feature of what I would term a proper hybrid. And the question is really technically boils down to whether the hybrid inverter has a bi directional AC input or not. And hopefully by the end of the video, you will understand why I'm asking that question. You'll see the benefits of having a bi-directional AC input and you will understand what you lose out on if you have a hybrid inverter without a proper AC input. So let's okay. So let's look at it. Now, first of all, let's look at what I would term not a proper hybrid. Um, in all cases, okay, let's just go back first. Let's just say a hybrid inverter in general term is a backup system. In other words, it has batteries. It can accept power from the grid, whether that is Eskom or uh, whether that is the local municipality. Um, and it takes that power and it can push it out to critical loads, which are listed there, and it can push it to non-critical loads, which are listed here. In addition to that, a hybrid inverter can accept solar panels. But the question is now, what does it do, or what can it do with that solar power? In all cases, even if it's not a proper hybrid, it can take the solar power and it can route that to the critical loads. Okay. And then if you have a power failure normally, then it'll take the battery power and it will route that to the critical load. So I've given that two ticks. I've put it in gray because it's not important. And the fact is that your critical loads will benefit from everything. It's also a fact that these are very low power consuming loads. So the solar doesn't really save you a lot if the solar power is being fed to these critical loads. It's really only if the solar feeds power to the non-critical loads. And like you can say, there's a huge gap. And you'll see on the next slide, uh, what should be in that gap. So if the solar power can be fed to the non-critical load, that's when you're going to get the benefit of solar power. Okay, so the big problem with a hybrid inverter that I define as not being a proper hybrid inverter is that you get no benefit from the solar power in your non-critical load. So let's look at an inverter, which I would term a proper hybrid inverter. Um, you can see here, in addition to pushing power to critical loads, and as I've said, everybody does that, you can see that a proper hybrid inverter will take solar power um, and it can feed that to non-critical loads. So it can take the power and it can feed it back down here. And in most, well, I think all cases where you have a proper hybrid, it can also push it back into the grid. And whether or not you push back is, is a controlled function. In general, um, what you would do is you would measure that current with a device called a current transformer uh, is generally used. Uh, in some cases, like Victron, they actually have a, a proper meter that you install there, and then it measures um, the current going into the grid. So then you can control the current, whether or not it flows there, but power being pushed back will always be pushed back to the non-critical loads. Okay. On top of <clears throat> just being able to establish these power flows, there's of course a priority and, a, um, and an intelligent function 
that it should say, for example, your solar power, you should say, okay, first of all, provide my critical loads. Second priority, charge my battery if my battery isn't full. And then if there's any power left, send that to my non-critical loads. And if I say push power into the grid, then you do that. In most cases, you're not allowed to. So then you would say, okay, block the power that goes there. So the power comes uh, coming out here is regulated so that it only flows here and it won't go into the grid. So that is what I would call a proper hybrid. And the advantage that you get from a proper hybrid is that the panel power can flow in this direction and therefore these non-critical loads, the geysers and the stove, things that you cannot put on batteries because they simply draw too much power, they also get the benefit of the solar power, but at the same time it is controlled that they don't drain the battery. And that is the important feature that you need in a proper hybrid. So, guys, uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's, again, it's Maurice Fury. I'm from uh, Green Power Con Consulting. You can see my email there. The website, I must admit, I haven't maintained that for so long. It's really a waste of time.